Some Palestinians say that Israeli settlers have set a mosque ablaze in the town of Beit Fajar. This is as the Israeli cabinet's meeting to discuss its next step in the peace process. Well, let's talk to Mike Hanna, who's in Jerusalem for us. This is a claim by some people who say they saw Israeli settlers at the mosque before the fire, Mike. We must qualify and say it's an allegation at the moment, but what are the details of what happened? Well, that is according to Palestinian witnesses who say that a group of four or five Israeli settlers arrived in a vehicle and began to ransack uh, the mosque in the village. This is adjacent to the massive uh, settlement enclave of Gush Etzion. Uh, the Palestinians say that they attempted to stop the settlers from ransacking the mosque. Scuffles broke out and reportedly the Israeli army did move in and restored some semblance of order. Uh, there was damage caused to the mosque. A portion of it was set alight. And also we understand there were a large number of graffiti left on the walls of the mosque. Now, this is a pattern that has happened in the West Bank before, uh, attacks involving both arson and graffiti on various religious Palestinian and Muslim religious sites in the West Bank. So this is not without precedent, David. What are we hearing from the Defence Force itself, the Israeli Defence Force? Well, the Defence Force has told Al Jazeera that they are investigating this. They have a team on the ground who will look into what is happening. They say that they will deal with whoever is responsible for this particular attack. Um, once again, not accepting the uh, words of the eyewitnesses at face value at this particular point. They say they are investigating the case and will deliver full details uh, when they receive them and when their investigations are concluded. But obviously, this is a deeply contentious, provocative, controversial issue, particularly as the Israeli cabinet is sitting discussing uh, what to do about uh, construction in the settlements, whether to reintroduce a moratorium or whether to continue with settlement development throughout the West Bank. And, and what are the indications about what uh, Mr. Netanyahu and his team, of course a divided team because it's a coalition government, uh, about what they might do with regard to settlement building? Well, there's been much speculation within the Israeli media and there have been very few leaks out of the cabinet. A number of ministers have gone public saying that in no circumstances will they accept a reintroduction of the moratorium. However, other sources are saying uh, that Benjamin Netanyahu will be discussing it with his cabinet in the course of this morning. Uh, much uh, of some observers pointing out that it would appear that his cabinet is split right down the middle on the issue. Um, he's certain of the opposition of some 15 ministers within the cabinet. Um, maybe he will have the support of another 15. So it is, Interrupt according you for to a, a second, number of Mike, observers, um, split right um, round the middle, carry on in a moment, but uh, you're unaware that the moment we're able to show some pictures uh, which have been taken by our colleagues inside the mosque, which show damaged copies of the Holy Quran and scorch marks on the floor of the mosque. Uh, these pictures reaching us within the last few minutes. It's a small mosque, Mike. Is it a small settlement, a small village where the fire took place? The village itself is a small village uh, fairly close to the uh, Palestinian center of Bethlehem, but it is adjacent to Gush Etzion. Now, this is one of the really huge settlement blocks in the West Bank, composed of a number of settlements, all cordoned off uh, from the West Bank proper with security fences all around. Gush Etzion itself is a very large uh, settlement enclave. This village adjacent to it is a small village, but very close uh, to the settlement itself, David. All right, well, we'll leave it there for the moment, Mike. I'm sure we'll hear some more pretty soon. Mike Hanna in Jerusalem.